So if a patient goes to you and maybe you cannot save their existing teeth, you have to do a full mouth of extraction sure. and dental implants, or they're wearing a denture and dental implants, what are their options when they go to your practice? So alternatives to a denture, Randy, uh, I think the, the, the one that's uh, pretty popular is a snap in denture. I used to do these. Basically what, what happens is these patients, they have some dental implants placed in and those like how dentures. Many? How many? So it depends, but you know, anywhere from two to four. And what they'll do is they'll have these, these dentures. So it's still plastic teeth that snap in. I mean, they snap in, they're, they're pretty stable at first, but over time, biting and chewing, usually our patients, uh, the, the patients, they have to come back every 12 to 18 months or so. Um, they'll have to, there's more maintenance that's required with them. So you have to take out those little snaps. They so have to be replaced. Money, the like maintenance. Maintenance. There's okay. more maintenance costs going forward, yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's one option. Again, I used to do those, um, but I found that, you know, really patients, they want teeth that stay in. So they just and weren't happy doing that they weren't happy but a lot no. of guys is it true a lot of dentists start out doing it that way yes yeah yeah and like I said I, I've been doing this for 14 years I've been practicing for 14 years um, you know they we, we all start have to start somewhere and we get our experience and we start there and then we start to find out that you know a lot of patients it's better than a denture but they're still not all the way satisfied okay I, I see the biggest change with patients who have teeth it's like their own teeth anymore it's not dental implants you know it, it's teeth so when you give them okay so for the people that want a fixed upper and lower teeth how many mm -hmm. implants and how does that work so with our office you know I, I hate nickel and diming our patients right I hate when I go to some place I get nickel and dimed so in our office for the 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 fee that we give you it says many dental implants that I can put in that we have bone for. So that way we over engineer things. And I've been doing this long enough that I found when we do over engineer things, things last longer. So like four or six implants on the lower so for if, a full arch of teeth? If a patient comes in, they have enough bone for four implants, we'll give them four implants. If they have enough room for eight implants, okay. they get eight implants. I had one patient. He's a big, big guy. Could be, could have, probably could have been a linebacker for the Rainbows. And, uh, you know, he, I mean, I think we put like 10 implants in, in one jaw. Okay. Uh, I think total bo top and bottom, I think it was something like 18 implants. Same price though. Same price, same price. And this guy could eat yeah. and chew whatever. Even big guys could do this. Yes, yeah, okay. definitely. You, you, have, you have guys who come in when they smile, their dimples look like they've been, they've been weight training, <laughs> you know, and you know, still, the, these teeth, they're so strong, they yeah, hold up. Yeah, but for somebody wearing a denture, the upper denture is fine because it has suction, right? <laughs> Only someone who has never worn a denture will, will say that. There's still, there may be suction, but it covers your palate. Okay. It still moves around slightly, right? It just requires less muscles to be able to keep it in place. So you, you still have to be able to, to hold everything in yourself with some of the muscles that you've never had to use before. That's why some of our, our, our patients, if they lose their teeth when they're in their 60s, 70s, 80s, they have a really hard time transitioning. You know, actually a lot of them, what they'll say is, you know, yeah, I, I got that denture made, you know, a couple of years ago, but I don't ever use it. I only, I only use it when I go out of the house. Wow. So that, that's not uncommon. We hear that a lot. So no more dentures. No and you dentures. say you could be in your 80s, your oldest patient, 94 to do this? Yep. That did this? Yeah, most definitely. So 80s not old. Like if 80, somebody 80, says, I'm too old, are you not sure? Old. 80s not old. 